Hi, it's Miss Rose Bell. So I want to share with you what I am reading for this week, as well as ask you what are you reading for this week. I am, needless to say, reading the same book that I was reading last week, which is kind of disappointing to me because I really wanted to be done with it because I have other books that I really want to read. Now, the book that I am reading right now is Freeman by Leonard Pitts Jr., and this book is taking me forever to get through. Forever. Yes, the book is 401 pages long. I am on page 242. And the reason why it's taking me so long, look how small the words are. The words are so small <laughs> in this book. I would have rather a 500 page book with bigger words. I really. Um, but, um, so hopefully I can get through with maybe this much tonight i'm really gonna focus once once i get done with this video and the rest of it tomorrow and hopefully get done with this because this book i had to recheck it out because i started it late but the book i told you that it was about right around when the civil war ended and a, a young man who calls himself freeman the last name freeman started looking for his wife that was still in slavery now, if you don't know your history, um, Robert E. Lee surrendered to Ulysses, I can't say that word, Grant, <laughs> um, and which pretty much ended slavery. And when that happened, a few days later, about a week, a week and a half or so, um, Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. And um, when the slaves were freed, Freeman went on the road walking to try to get back to Mississippi to where his wife was. And I thought it was just going to be him going there, finding a wife, but it is so much more. Uh, you read about how the, the black people felt about slavery being ended. Like, how can slavery be done when you're doing the same thing that you were doing before slavery ended? So what is really being free so a lot of the slaves really didn't know how to be free what to do when they you know received the freedom then you had the caucasians who did some didn't want to let this let the slaves go because that's money that's lost they paid good money for the slaves and they didn't want to let the slaves go then you have another aspect of the Caucasians, uh, you know, we're glad it's over, we're glad we're, we're done, you know, we don't want to have anything else to do with the black people because they seem to be like a burden. You constantly had to keep somebody watching them or else they'll run off and stuff like that. So the story goes way, way deeper than what I thought it was going to uh, deal with. So you have uh, Freeman trying to find his wife. There's also two ladies who started a Negro school. And so you have different characters in the book. And the book is really, it's a really good book. It's very well written. And even with the um, dialect, the slavery dialect, there's a lot of that in there. But it's not so where you have, you can't understand what they're talking about. So it's a pretty good book. Okay, um, I got to finish that so that I can read this book. May We Be Forgiven by A.M. Holmes. This book is due back to the library on the 24th, and today is the 18th, so I really got to finish that so I can jump into this. Now, hopefully, the words are a lot bigger in this book, so hopefully I'll be able to get through this book a lot quicker. And there, there are 460, 470 pages in this, so I hope I can get through that. Okay, and now I have another book that I picked up from the library that I am going to have to really read quickly as well. And that book, I want to thank Satin Doll 72 because I did not know Walter Mosley um, finished a new Easy Rollins mystery book in the Easy Rollins series. And if you don't know who Easy Rollins is, then I'm sure you've seen the movie A Devil in a Blue Dress. Denzel Washington played um, Ezekiel Rollins, and that is the Easy Rollins character. He's like my fictional husband. Yes, he is. He would be my husband <laughs> if I was in a book. <laughs> But, um, the name of the book is Little Green, and as soon as Satin Doll 72 told me she was reading this book, I was like, oh my gosh, I'll drop everything else just to get that book. But I rushed to the library, and they have one copy left on the 
shelf. I grabbed it. So I'm going to have to hurry up so that I can read this book. I did start a little bit. And it's really good. I was so happy that Walter Mosley decided to bring Easy Rollins back. I know he was kind of contemplating just letting him die off in a prior um, book. And I'm so glad he did. And um, Easy Rollins is back. He uh, did get in a car accident in the last book. And it's, the book is pretty much taking up from where it left off with him in the car accident. So the last book, you didn't know if he was going to live or die. And this book... He, um, his friend Raymond did find him uh, and was able to get him to safety so that he could heal and be well for a new book. So I'm really excited about this book. So it's a kind of a small haul for me for books, but this is it, what I'm doing this week. So please let me know what you are reading down in the comment section. I really appreciate it, okay? Y'all have an awesome, awesome night. Bye-bye.